Welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video I'm going to be building a tiny house cottage and um, I've been wanting to build like a tiny house for a while in The Sims 4 because like I'm a really big fan of tiny houses. I watch a lot of tiny house videos on YouTube, like real life tiny houses. And um, I don't have the tiny house stuff pack so what I've basically done is I've just tried to create it um, with like a lot of custom content. I haven't been using much custom content in my um, speed build videos for YouTube um, because it sort of feels like cheating in some way but like I downloaded a bunch of packs recently and some of the content is really great like the cottage garden stuff pack so I really wanted to do a build including a bunch of these items. I also like briefly included the cottage garden stuff pack in one of my previous videos but I didn't really do it justice so this build is sort of partly about that, like I included a lot more stuff from that pack in this pack. I also have stuff from several other packs, um, well, custom content packs, not actual, not game packs. Um, and yeah, so this is a very custom content heavy build and I will include all the links in the description to the custom content I downloaded. I probably won't end up putting this on the gallery just because it's like... The pic the like generated pictures um don't really show it very well and you can't upload your own and I just don't I don't know. If anyone like wants to download this build then they can comment and I'll upload it. Um but it is very custom content heavy as well, so that's something to bear in mind. But I do think there's a lot of really cool stuff. So when building it I looked at a bunch of pictures. Initially what I really wanted to do was have like a much smaller staircase, because you see the staircase is like normal size. What I wanted to have was like a a split foundation I guess with like a much smaller staircase um, but of course the big problem in The Sims 4 with doing that is first of all you can't do it with the tools there are ways around it so I started doing that and I was like this looks great yeah this is brilliant I have this little staircase um, I didn't take any footage of that I don't think or maybe I did and then deleted it so I can't show you but I thought it looked really good but then I remembered that you can't like you're very limited in options for foundation you can't put like whatever wallpaper on the foundation you want unlike in the sims 3 so i basically had to delete that and then just put in a normal sized staircase so now this building is a lot taller than i wanted it to be because even with the shortest walls it's still like really tall and i wanted it to be like a much smaller looking building but um i don't know i mean the inside i think is relatively small looking so i think it would meet the the definition for a tiny house um, I did tweak some things after finishing the speed build because I play tested it afterwards and I noticed that some things just weren't working exactly right. So there were some rooting issues so I had to move some stuff around. Um, in like, yeah, like the back door, that wasn't working at first. <laughs> I spent quite a while figuring out what the problem with that was. In the end it was something really random. It was basically just that I put like a little... Um, archway thing over the top of the door like a little roof like an arched roof thing um and it was it was too close or something so there was some problem with that so i basically just moved it up slightly and then it worked another really weird thing happened with the stairs like i moved the, i took i told the sim to go upstairs and the sim got upstairs just fine but then um <laughs> then when they were up there they wouldn't go back down and nothing had changed so that was really weird i don't know what the problem was there but i just ended up having to move some bookcases around um yeah i also used the puffer head stuff pack a lot in this the little like cage with the flowers in i really love that that comes from the puffer head stuff pack also the like fairy lights with the clips um they're like they're great um you can add like a bunch of little photos to it which i do later on in the video um like clipped onto it and they also work on the cork board like the pin board that comes with the the base game so that's great too um this bedding like i really love there's so many cool swatches for it it's just great i settled on a kind of like checkered pattern that's a kind of warm checkered pattern and then um i put like i use the tiny twelve with stuff pack again <laughs> always sounds so weird when you say that word um and that box in the corner is from that stuff pack. It's actually a toddler stuff pack, but I thought it worked pretty well here because it's not it's not too young looking. Like there's a little fox print on the side which is cute and it, it kind of works with the the kind of cutesy rustic look I had going up here. Um it's got a little briefcase on top as well, so you know, that could be for like any age really. So I'm actually really 
while building this I noticed like the versatility of a lot of the custom content I have because quite a lot of it was built for a specific purpose like the Henry Puffer thing was basically meant to be a recreation of Harry Potter and um, the Tiny Travelers stuff pack obviously is for like toddlers but like a lot of the stuff in it you can use it for all kinds of builds um, this living room area it's quite red at the moment I hadn't settled on like a color scheme for this room I ended up changing it to like all more blue and turquoise that table I really loved but I had a problem with it right because like it was just a bit too big for the area so I had to resize a lot of objects but when you resize tables um, the stuff you put on it doesn't really fit properly so um, and, I, and I really wanted that like tray with the book and mug on so that moved around a lot like in the end I ended up putting it on the ottoman because the ottoman wasn't really sized so it fit neatly and um, that's another great thing about the ottoman you can just all the seats that come with um, the tiny travelers stuff pack you can put objects on them um, not the dining chairs I don't think but the puff you can put objects on and I ended up putting a TV on it later in the video you can see because um, there wasn't a lot of room and I, I thought like you know you, it's something you could easily move and I think that's the important thing about tiny houses is like all of the objects they need to be stuff you can sort of move around a lot because that way you save space economically so I figured they could you know they could put the TV on there and then they could move it later and use it as a seat um, although I mean the TV it's fairly small but it would still be fairly heavy to lift so I don't know <laughs> it's not that practical but it sort of it sort of works um, I, I put like a little freezer bunny above the bed area right has a bunch of storage space like on a little on that part above the beds and I thought that was really great because of course like it helps like to put clutter around the place because um, in like actual bedrooms and stuff you would have stuff kind of all over the place normally and especially in something this built this like small you need to like use every available surface really to put stuff because you don't have a lot of storage space so um yeah I put I put the books at the top of the stairs because I thought that was pretty cool and it sort of fills in that area in the corner a little bit and makes it seem more like lived in um, I really love these knit look rugs they come from the cottage garden pack I think and that chair um, with the scarf on is from the puffer head pack and like I love that it's like a lot of this stuff looks like I've said this before in a previous video but it looks like it, it sort of fits in with like the whole nifty knitting pack um, I put some pillows at the bottom of the bed because I fi figured like you could sort of just sit down there and then like lean against the pillows and um, later I put in a, like a little diary um, next to it because like I wanted it to sort of be like a little area where you could sort of sit and maybe write because um, I thought that would be cool um, there's not like the kitchen is one of my favorite areas of this build I think I mean not that there are a lot of areas <laughs> but yeah that was that was the mo one that was most based on a photograph most of the other areas of this I just did from my imagination but the the kitchen area was like taken largely from a photo I found online um, I put this like large wall tapestry which I got in another pack um, because it sort of fit with the colour scheme I ended up going for, like the purpley, turquoise kind of look. And I put that pillow too um, on that, on like the, the the seat with the scarf on because that like, that really fit in there. And I was just like, especially with the wall, the boho wall tapestry, it's just, I, and I really love like bohemian style stuff. Like it's really colourful and stuff. I know like there are a bunch of stuff in that style that come in later packs um, that were released after the base game um but i don't have any of those packs so i do have like a few items that i got uh <laughs> from the sims resource um it took me like i was i was experimenting with a few things in the bathroom i think at one point i was going to try and just have like a shower head with a curtain but i ended up settling on the realm of magic shower because it kind of fits like with the whole style of the build I think that shower it works quite well and it also fits with the color scheme I ended up going for in the bathroom which is a kind of lilac sort of look um I love that door that's like one of my favorite base game doors that kind of like multicolored purple thing um I don't know if I don't think it's it, I, I don't think it's shown in the speed build it is shown in the in the intro video at the beginning but I did end up putting like a bunch of shoe lights above the door because I thought that sort of 
looked cute. Um, I resized the fridge that I ended up putting, and it was it was a turquoise one, and it doesn't look too bad. I was worried about the animations because I've never tried resizing a fridge before, but I did play test it, and it doesn't look terrible, and it and it functions. So I'm I'm happy with that. Well, at least it functioned with it's function taking out the item that I took out. I don't remember if Sims takes stuff out from different parts of the fridge because it's the fridge freezer. Um, but they took an item out of the bottom part and that looked fine, so I assume that will be okay. Um, initially what I wanted to do was put like a little, put some island counters and some bar stools, but there really wasn't enough room. But, um, because I was sort of basing this on a couple of different photos and one of them they had bar stools. And I thought that would be cute, but there just wasn't room in this particular build, so I might do like another tiny house build later and add some like island islands with bar with like little bar stools um this like the cottage garden pack has a lot of small plants and stuff in like tins and things like that that are really cool there's lots of interesting like plants and decorations i put a seat on the other side of the desk as well because i figured like you'd want maybe a couple to eat with um this is more decorative because that seat's not technically connected it can't be connected to that part of the desk which is a shame it would be cool if there was like the option but it's technically a computer desk so it's not a dining table so there's no there's only one slot for like a chair to go into which is really unfortunate but um i don't know i haven't really looked into modding at all myself for this game but yeah like, that would be something i would be interested in like editing that so it could be a dining table because that way you could have like two seats on either side because it's like a fold it looks like a fold up table so there are like two sides which you can unfold which is why i chose it because it sort of fits like it's it's an economic use of space i think to have something like that in a tiny house i've seen similar stuff in actual tiny houses um that have like folding tables um i put some stuff on top of the fridge because uh i don't think i've done that before but especially with the size of the fridge it just kind of looks more cute um I ended up putting like a few different like curtains on the windows it took me a while to figure out what ones to put but um i think i ended up going for the realm of magic ones in the end and they do kind of fit i use those ones a lot but they really do fit into this particular build it took me a while to try and figure out like i needed a bookcase and it, it occurred to me too late that i kind of needed one and i ended up using the one from the forest fantasy stuff pack that i downloaded because it's very narrow and skinny and so it could sort of fit in there and then I put some shelves next to it and uh would put like a bunch of stuff on the shelves um there were a lot of items like that little alchemy set with the books that took me like it took me a while to sort of figure out where I wanted to place those um I put some gardening stuff in the kitchen as well like some pots um <laughs> it's not really where they belong but yeah I don't know um, and like there are lots of cute little posters that come with the cottage garden stuff pack and like wall decorations so I put a bunch of those around on the walls in the kitchen um, I put some ivy which is from a completely different pack actually it kind of a lot of the custom content I have downloaded is max match but I don't think the ivy really is or it doesn't quite work with um the colour scheme maybe it stands out a lot more because it's more realistic looking so I think it probably counts as alpha custom content but um it's only like a small object so I don't think it stands out too much but I put that above the door because in the photo I was looking at there was actually ivy that went above the door and there were a bunch of hanging plants and stuff um I will probably edit in the photo at some point in this video so that you can sort of see what that was sort of based on um yeah so i put i've also put some like candles um i think that candle is actually from the the bathroom um i don't know how you say it. it's like a bathroom stuff pack that came with um it, it, it's by the same people as the tiny travelers stuff pack so well you'll find a link in the description for that stuff later um i was going to put a mirror above the above the stairs but I ended up putting a picture because most of the max mirrors won't work some of the custom content mirrors I had actually fit in there but I didn't like the options 
that I had that actually fit into that area. So instead of putting a mirror there, I just ended up putting like a little painting. Um, there was something else that I was going to talk about on the top floor that I, oh yes, the scarf. I put that like hanging down from the stairway, um, as you can see, and I really liked it. I was surprised that that happened. I don't know if this was patched in recently or if it's just something that happens with moves objects on. But I noticed you can actually put stuff now, it will snap to half walls. I don't remember that happening before, I used to have to use the move objects on sheet to just move stuff around, but it wouldn't actually snap there, and it wouldn't fit, like that scarf just fit perfectly on the edge of the stairway. And that was great, and I was just thinking, I was like, I don't know if this is new, or if I just haven't noticed it, but um, it's something I actually noticed... It's something that, like, um, I pointed out when I was looking at, like, the Paralive stuff. Because there's, like, a bra hanging from the edge of a stairwell. And I really like that you can just sort of hang stuff from areas like that. Um, I mean, it's not it's not a banister. You still... I don't think you can put stuff on banisters in The Sims still. But it's still pretty cool that you can do that. And again, I don't know if this is new. Um, but... Yeah, that's something I noticed. I'll have to look later. Um, I used like that mossy texture that I mentioned in my previous custom content video. Because um, that's pretty nice. I think like I, I ended up putting like I put a small garden at the back. This is a pretty small lot and I wanted it to be a very small build, including the garden area. But um, it's probably like a little small for purposes because I did want it to be sort of like they like designed for like a sim but gardens um so there are a lot of gardening supplies around the whole pack around the whole um lot and uh but yeah i also figured out <laughs> i figured out those log things like there are slice there are there's a very thin log and you can put them on top of each other to make like a much bigger log i didn't end up doing that um, but I thought that was cool because I didn't notice that last time and I did wonder like because the, the log is so thin I didn't think it worked particularly well as, as an object on its own but the fact you can layer them is cool you can also put the mason jars on top of each other so you can kind of stack them which is very cool and at one point I kind of got a bit distracted the other day and I was like seeing how tall I could put how how big a tower I could make out of the mason jars and it got pretty high I gave up because um, in the end, I didn't I didn't get it to like the max, but at some point, <laughs> at some point I might do that. I don't know. Like, I probably should have like included something like that as outtakes in the video, but I don't know. Like a mason jar tower. But um, this video is already pretty long. I wanted it to be shorter. It was 30 minutes sped up initially, and I've edited out a lot of parts of the video, so there might be parts of this where it jumps. I haven't noticed any yet, but um, I'm sure there will, I think it will be subtle, but the, there, will, there will probably be parts where it just sort of jumps, um, because I had to edit out like a whole bunch of the stuff, and then I think I ended up getting this part down to about 22-23 minutes. What I was aiming for was like an 18-20 to 20 minute video in total, and that includes the intro ideally, but that's just a bit too optimistic. I mean, it's still short by my channel standards. <laughs> my videos end up way too long. I don't know how people get their videos down to such a short, like, to such short lengths. Because obviously it's better to have it between 15 to 20 minutes, because more than that, it's, it's just, you know, people don't want to watch super long videos most of the time. I'm sure some people put them in the background when they're doing other things, but generally speaking, people won't sit down to watch a super long video. So I have been trying to, like, reduce the set to reduce the length of my of my videos but yeah i mean <laughs> there was an attempt here but it, it, it didn't work out um 100 percent but it's, it's it's not too bad i mean i think it's like 23 minutes so it's not too bad by the general standards of my channel but yeah um i used some of the plants that came with the pack too those little plants are like really cute um i love I I've realised, like, they don't look great if they're just in the middle of nowhere, but they sort of look good on the edge of, like, flower beds. And I put some rocks around, too. That's one of my, like, 
favourite um, landscaping ideas, really. Those those rocks actually came with the um, cottage garden stuff pack, and they're very useful, actually, because, like, what I was doing before was just putting, like, lots of individual rocks, like the Maxis rocks, around flower beds, but with those ones, there's actually, like, a line of them, and you can rotate them a little, and you don't need to spend as long doing that. So that's cool. Um, I put lots of plants on the outside of the cottage growing, and I put some, like, plant pots. Um, I put some, like... <laughs> keep saying put some like but say it enough times it's gonna stop sounding real um that wheelbarrow is great because you can put stuff inside of it so i had some plant pots in there um and then this video is probably coming to an end soon actually so i put like little garden gnomes and stuff in the front of the garden area um like i always seem to do that but i do like all the gnome stuff and the little duck that comes with the base game that's cute as well um there is like a bunch of areas where i think i'm not as happy with the front because i did put some flowers around um and some bits and pieces there but it does look a bit odd i guess i, I think part of that's just from the fact that most of the spills came from my imagination i only used references for like a couple of things like the kitchen so the exterior is completely from my imagination um there's some things i would redo i didn't want to have too many of those little roofs on like every window so i ended up not putting them on a couple but i i think maybe i should have put some on the top ones parts maybe not on the front but i think on the back it could have worked i just have a little archway on the top window there um i really love the gnome on the flamingo as well <laughs> it's great because it just combines two of them yeah i think the video skipped a little bit there see so oh god you can actually see okay so this is slightly out of order where I've edited it. Um, I don't know why that is, but that's kind of weird. I don't know if it's going to go back to how it's supposed to be or not, but yeah, some of these. Um, oh, there you go. <laughs> the plants have returned. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened there, but my editing is a bit off in places, so yeah. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Um, so it's actually a very quick video. I've gotten I've gotten used to talking over like longer videos now, so I feel like there's a lot of stuff I didn't comment on. Um, but if you have any questions about this build, you can you know put them in the comment section below. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching.